that he was too afraid to face you, he stepped up to the plate. So, uh, Brittany, your fans do want to know, how, how much needs to be donated for you to eat the hot sauce? Uh... It's 5500 for Josh and Paco. How about you? You going in on that? 5500 5, Yeah, I'll go in on that. Okay, 5500 You guys heard it there. Confirmed from her uh, herself. $5,500. What are we at right now? Josh Kim, Brittany Brown, and Paco from... City Year LA no, to no, I ingest. <laughs> no, 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 no. That I'm is a verbal scared. contract. I'm scared. That is a verbal contract that cannot be that broken. No. So uh, no. just a little bit more what, donations what are, and we'll are, get that happening. What, All three of them at the same no, time no. on camera. No, 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 wait. What, what are we at in donations right now? I think we're at 49.53. I'll do, I'll do 6,500. She's trying to up. She's trying to like up the ante. Upcut on Phoenix. <laughs> Cheating again. No. She's trying to upcut on Phoenix here. Um, I don't know if we can allow that. I think the optimum prize should be me eating that. <laughs> not wow. Not Phoenix. The, the hot sauce. The hot sauce. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, uh, what do you think? She locked in at 5500 and now she's saying that it should be 65 for her to eat the hot sauce. Damien Strada, what are your thoughts on that? I don't know. <laughs> what, is, what is playing through right now on that? Oh, well, somebody opened up the Twitch homepage. That's what it is. Okay. Just as long as DJ Wee's voice is not coming out of our stream, that would be rather alarming. Have confirmed the fact. Uh, everyone's saying. Everyone is saying $5,500 or a riot for Brittany to eat the hot sauce. So I think we have to go with that. Now I can hear myself. This is really weird. Yes, we are good. So uh, we have Peter Zhang, coach of Team Liquid, and Travis the Gaff Gafford going in on a 1v1 best of three setup here. We'll have to see who's going to come out on top. We have Mags who just donated $25. I want to see Phoenix become flame. Phoenix hmm. become flame. All right. Aptly put, hopefully we can get that. Uh, you know, we can reach that goal with your guys' donations. Remember, you can still donate in to win that Alienware rig. It's just a $30 buy-in. You can buy in multiple times on that. So you can do multiple $30 donations to up your chance to win that computer. It's a $1,500 desktop. Uh, it's actually the desktop that we're running these 1v1s off of in the back. You can sort of see them behind the monitors. Very compact rigs, but also very powerful. So you definitely want to get in uh, and try to win those. We have Benson Lee, who donated $5 for Damien to do some more Travis impressions. So, Damien, this is all you. I hate you, Benson. Uh, I don't know who Damien is, but this is Travis again. Uh, speaking from my mental, I'm playing against Peter, uh, coach of Team Liquid. Uh, this is a best of three series, so chances are I might lose to the first and then sweep with the last two. <laughs> is that too soon? I'm not sure, but we can see the pigs have come through. It's going to be Gangplank versus Lee Sin. Liquid Peter rocking that Lee Sin. Trying to replicate the performance of Impact earlier on in the stream. We'll see if he's able to do just that. Travis, he's bringing out this champion who's not yet been reworked. Uh, Gangplank is currently on the PBE, I believe, for testing. Uh, lots of changes coming through to him. Uh, but Travis, he's going to give him a last hurrah and try to carry Gangplank through to victory. We'll see if he's able to uh, get onto the rift and plunder Peter's booty. I see that people are asking for my best friend, Double Lift, to play that Team Liquid Scum Piglet, but Double Lift has left in that he needs to go home and practice and repair his finger over the night. <laughs> oh. the, no, the chat loves you, Travis. Why would the chat dislike the, this? The voice? chat doesn't hate you. The chat loves you. Yeah, 
Alright, Dank Flank is on the scene. Let's see what he's gone for. It's the Longsword! Three potions, Bill. We can see that Doran's Blade gonna be coming through here for Liquid Peter. So maybe looking for that additional life steal. See what he starts with. Likely gonna be that Sonic Wave with the Resonating Strike off the Reconnect. Maybe he'll go for his W, get that added activate for even more life steal, and just really sus out sustain this Gangplank in lane. Uh, we'll have to see what happen he's, happens. He's gonna have to land those Sonic Waves to get in onto this Gangplank. Otherwise, he's gonna be able to just keep using that pistol uh, to just. Chunk, you know, chunk down that Lee Sin sl ever so slowly. Travis, what do you think about this matchup while you're live in it? Uh, clearly, I will win because, as I tell most pros, I always make it to finals. That's it? That is my life. I do need that. That's worth it. Oh, man. All right, and I would like to say that we have officially broken $5,000 donated. 5008 the grand total right now. We are just $492 away from Brittany Brown, Josh Kim, and Paco from City Year LA. We're eating that uh, devilish ghost pepper hot sauce. Let's make that happen, guys. Let's keep having those donations come through. Of course, you can uh, join the discourse on Twitter by tweeting at City Year LA and using the hashtag City Year LA. Should be Hashtag pretty gamers easy. for a cause. Yeah. Should be. Hashtag yeah. CLG win. <laughs> and, uh, and as always, you know, hashtag the gaff if you would like for uh, Travis here next to me to win this match. Or uh, hashtag TLP if you want Peter to come out on top. <laughs> See, really slow game. strategy. It looks as though they are farming. Uh, could you explain to me a little bit about why you would want to farm in a 1v1 scenario? Alright, so yeah, the rules of these 1v1s are pretty standard. Uh, so it's first to 100 CS, first to first tower down, or first to first blood. So those are the three stipulations uh, that you can win the game in. Personally, I like the stipulation with the CS where you have to win uh, at 100 with an advantage of 10 CS over your opponent. So if you're neck and neck, say they have 99 when you hit 100, you have to get to 109 before they get another CS in order to win that game. Sounds a little boring. I want to see blood. Oh, well, of course. Blood much is like always... like double his finger on the net. It's always much more entertaining when that happens. We can see these guys are uh, a little bit bloodthirsty. Peter throwing out those Sonic Waves. Trying to connect. He dashed in onto Travis uh, in that last moment. Took a little bit of damage there, though. He's going to have to play a bit more cautiously. Gangplank's uh, Poison Passive still doing wonders for him. However, that Scurvy's not going to do a whole lot for... Uh, you in this matchup, Travis. It's a high mana cost, low health return, and you don't really have too much to get away from uh, with this Lee Sin. Maybe his cripple uh, and his Tempest off of his E, but no real uh, CC coming through there. I don't know what any of that means. You just picked him because it's a pirate. You just like pirates. No comment. Okay. So we can see this, Travis. That's not my Oh, that's the life. Alright, so what were the... Uh, so you can see that the Ignite is down here for Peter. Not going to be able to get in onto Travis to uh, try to get that killing blow. Ignite, however, is up here and that's going to come across. Peter, he has to dash away. He goes back. He lands the Sonic Wave. The Resonating Strike for the finish. That's Liquid Peter coming out on top. Travis goes down. 1-0 in favor of Peter. Well, clearly I have given him the first game to instill hope in all Team close. Liquid fans. I am going to now reverse sweep him in order to qualify for the finals. Alright, so we have game two getting ready to come up. Peter just needs to take one more to win this best of three. And, uh, Travis needs that reverse sweep. We'll have to see if he's able to bring that one out. Maybe he shouldn't pick a, a character just because they're a pirate and he has a, a massive you know, affinity for pirates and he just loves them so much. So what's, what's going to be your strategy moving into this game here, Travis? Uh, my goal is to win uh, for all the OG on Gamers fans. That's a shout out to you, Benson. Uh, and you're good. All right. 
I'm biased, but I do like the uh, the Team Liquid logos that are going out in the chat and keep that up for sure. Show Peter your support. Show the team your general support. All right, now back into this. Uh... Nami is looking like a strong okay. pick. This is uh, really interesting. Both, uh, Travis and Peter both hovering some very interesting options right now. I'm not sure if these are going to get locked in. If they do, it'd be a pretty bizarre matchup. I actually don't know who would have the advantage between these two champions. Do you think that your raw skill will beat the analytical mind of, of Peter here, Travis? I can talk Peter to death in this match and then roll over into the third one and interview him into a grave. All right. Looks like we do have these champions locked. Peter is uh, has taken the uh, peer pressure of our analyst, TK, who has been pushing him to select this champion. No. Cherry Killer has donated us $30, saying that EU over NA get salty Americans or better eat those ghost peppers. Peter is apparently freaking out for some reason. So, <laughs> as you guys see there, off of that loading screen, it's Nudu versus Teemo. This, um... This is gonna be one hell of a long game, I feel, here, Travis. Uh, my goal is to go in for the early game, uh, drag that out to the middle game, and hopefully we'll go for a 55-minute game here. All right, there right, you we'll have it. Where I will consume the Teemo. All right, so going for uh, you know, those TDK TSM strategies, but hopefully it'll turn out a little bit better for, uh, for Travis here. Not sure how that's going to work out. Is he going? AP? He actually is building AP. Both members are building AP. Doran's rings on both with health potions. Of course, Travis likely going to have that added sustain in this lane once he picks up that. Uh, once he picks up that consume on the Nunu. Apparently, we have some stack coming through on this. I do apologize if you guys can hear me. Uh, we're working to fix that uh, the audio issue right now. We'll get that one taken care of right away. <laughs> All right. So AP Nunu. Coming to town. Uh, everyone that is in support for me, Travis the Gap Gapper, should tweet at me, SOTL Travis, I don't know why you said tag anywhere on Twitter, and uh, hashtag Travis Win. And, yes. and hashtag Gamers for a Cause, hashtag City Year LA, hashtag On Gamers. On Gamers. <laughs> I see hashtag SOTL sucks. That's rude. <laughs> all right, so, all right, so this is the this is the strategy, this is the strategy that uh, that Travis failed to execute in his game as Teemo. He did, however, come out on top of that one, I do believe, uh, but still ruining that early game strategy. And, uh, you see... Okay, so apparently Peter is playing a real metagame strat here. He's sitting invisible. Travis completely unaware of where Peter is sitting. And Peter is, in fact, watching the stream, monitoring Travis's every single move. There he goes. He pops out of the cell, gets that blinding shot. The Ice Blast comes across. Looks like this might be a trade in favor of Travis, however, as he trades that one back to Consume, really helping him come out on top of that one. The Ignite coming across. Peter, will he go down? One more Ice Blast. It comes through, but it's not enough. 
Peter, he walks away barely with his life. Yeah, you can go back. Just can't go into the jungle. Wow, what a uh, what a hell of a play there. Travis almost winning, but I think that all this has really done is given Peter the opportunity to uh, come in and now claim his second victory in a row. We'll have to see what exactly happens here. That's it. All right, All right guys. Currently at five thousand and eighty-three dollars raised. We need four hundred and seventeen more for Brittany Brown, Josh Kim, and Paco to eat the ghost pepper hot sauce. I, re I really want to see that happen. As somebody who's standing in this room, I really want to see that happen. I'm sure you guys want to see that happen. Uh, so make sure you go ahead and. Bust out those donations again. It is going to a great cause. City Year LA. Fantastic. Uh, Brittany Brown's offered me a gumball. She has about six gumballs for some reason. I do not want one. But I thank you for it. I appreciate the peace offering. Alright, so you see Peter playing back here. Travis has to recall, taking a hell of a lot of damage on that Nunu. Now, this is Peter's time to shine as he tries to establish. That strong CS lead here, 13-13 across the board. Maybe he can get some damage in on this tower. Oh my God. Only time will tell. I think we're in this game for the long haul. We'll see how this one develops. Uh, for those of you who might have just joined us recently, if you want to donate or if you want to enter our sweepstakes to win uh, a plethora of those amazing prizes that we have, you can look below the stream. There's a Donate Now button that will take you to our Tiltify page where you can find the individual sweepstakes that you can enter. Okay, and I would actually like to go ahead and announce we're going to go ahead and we're going to give away the Alienware computer in 10 minutes. So you guys have 10 minutes to get in your donations of $30. Make sure you go to the Tiltify page, select the Alienware, and donate your $30 via that. You can enter multiple times if you want to improve your chances of winning. And uh, again, that is a $1,500 brand new Alienware X51 desktop PC. Our friends at Alienware have just so graciously provided for us for this event. Uh, completely donated by them. So make sure you guys go ahead and get entered for that one. It's definitely not uh, something that you want to miss. Oh, Peter's taking another Ice Blast so low. Travis, very low on mana, however. He flashes forward. Can he get an Ice Blast? No, he takes a tower shot on the back side of that one. Should be Peter staying alive as he chugs these potions. We can see the uh, patented double Doran's Ring build coming through for him. These 1v1s usually rely on Doran's items. He gets the exhaust off. He's got the poison taking Travis. He's on the run. Can he get out with his life? Peter, gonna have to peel back. Does not want to take any more damage uh, or run himself into that tower. One shot away from dead now. Travis having to play quite far back. Peter with plenty of mana checking on the last of those potions. Gonna be able to sustain in here. The tower down to half HP. He gets the blind shot. That's the first blood. Travis goes down 2-0 victory for Liquid Peter. Beautiful. You wanna play Peter? Yeah, I guess. Sure. 